Hey, how's it going? Didn't expect to see me here, huh? Just happens sometimes. How's it going? How's it going, guys? I am here, and I'm back with Dave the Diver. Believe it or not, I actually like this game a lot. <laughs> I don't know why I gave that away, but yeah. I actually want to play it a little bit more. That's why I actually figured I'd hop in again and treat you to some more gameplay of it. Let's switch back to the main view. Actually, do it. Continue the playthrough. So yeah, last time I d drowned uh, and got back to the ship. Actually, there's some restaurant duty. My restaurant is leveled up to the silver tier now, which is pretty cool. Now I'm just trying to get the restaurant up and running properly. Get some more ingredients going. We got the silver trophy. We have been recognized. Hey. It looks like my social media presence is going strong in this game. Unlike my actual social media presence, but hey. It just happens, my dude. Oh, how shallow. It's 51% of fish. Hmm. Seems like I'm actually going there. All right, um, let's have a look. I've got how many coins? 195. I actually keep the 195 for now. What's the weather going to be like in the next couple days? Rainy and sun tomorrow. Hey, that's a good thing. Let's see if he's got anything for me. Shop. Probably not. No, in my luck, but we'll see. What do you have? You've got oxygen for me. A waterproof box that can be installed on the water. Acquired items can be stored inside and stored and items inside will automatically be retrieved upon leaving the water. That's convenient. I'll take the extra oxygen tank and the extra ammo as well. No, I don't have time have space for that. Doesn't matter. Let's hop in the water, shall we? Let's get some more diving. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well, though. I certainly am. And I'm having a good old time. It's the third stream I'm going to be on today. Kind of wild. Just collect some stuff. Seashells and all that. I'm actually pretty happy about the outcome of this. I didn't expect to like the game this much, but apparently I do. Found some olive oil. I think Jack Tarlet will enjoy that. You come here over here. Seashells are always a good thing. Underwater scooter. Uh, no, I'll keep that around for the time being, but it's always a, w a welcome change. The fish must be. Yeah, I was just about to say, you must be bleeding out right now. To keep an eye out on my weight, of course, because I don't want to. Overburden myself with too much. But we'll see. We'll see. Shock harpoon. That's good. Shock harpoon is always a good idea. Yeah. 
I actually no, I didn't take the bomb with me, did I? I don't think I have. Hmm. Let's think about that in a second, because I'm pretty sure I forgot the bomb this time. That's alright, it's okay. So he said, I think the owner said that he was still working on it. You get back here. What the shit? Come on. There you go. Easy. Yeah, I'm hunting sushi again, dude. How's it going, Grizzle? I figured I'd spoil you guys with a little bit more gameplay because I won't be here for a couple of days, so might as well make the most of it, right? Okay, I'm almost reaching the maximum capacity I can carry. Oh, fuck off. There you go. Let me swim up a little bit higher because the oxygen was close by, if I remember correctly. Then again, I've got an extra oxygen tank, so it's fine. Let's put bombs, everything in there. Pretty sure the olive oil will be appreciated too by my dear friend Jack Talent. It's 10 kilos, I have, gotcha. It's a good thing time holds. Okay. I guess I'm done. Okay, okay. This is fine. Let me grab this long distance underwater scooter. Oh, look, Smoo's going swimming with the little hairy women. Yes! Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it, my dude. How you doing, Weasel? I was playing this game earlier, and I enjoyed it a lot, so I figured, oh, well, why not return, right? If it ain't broke, why fix it? Might as well. Besides, this game is a lot of fun, so I might as well figure why not do it. Shells it was a good thing. Can't dive too deep though because the suit will probably give in at some point. Oh no, I've got a micro. Fuck you, buddy. This take ten percent less damage because I actually got a bracelet that gives me less damage. Probably some esoteric crap, but you know, at least it helps. Open up my oxygen levels a little more. More ammo is always welcome in my book. Not sure if I'm going to try this one. I'm still rearranging my setup, but if you see though. This is also on other. This is on Nintendo Switch as well. If you got a Nintendo Switch, I strongly recommend you get get to get on there because it's portable. Is this the game I'm going to be playing on my flight to the U.S. quite a lot? I think. Mind you, I'm playing the Steam version right now, so that's what I'm going to do. Plenty of stuff. Hey. Look the fact that you're playing a fat guy who's diving in water and he's diving for fish and all sorts of all sorts of crap. Oh no! Oh no! Nandayo! Ah! Fuck you! Oh, 
right. So that's where we're here. Try placing one of the bombs Cobra gave you on that rock pile. Uh, well, I guess. I want to see what's in that crate though before I go. Will it be a triple shooter? Who knows? We'll find out. If I do, what's that? The fucking fish. That's a giant fucking chunk of stuff. How the, how much health does that fucking fish have? Like seriously, this fish is. Bleeding out, but man. I'm wasting like a whole Yeah, I was just about to say I was like wasting a whole magazine on this fucker. Okay, I'm way overweight now. I'm gonna make it up to the surface if I continue on like this. Mind you, I'm very deep in the waters here, so... All good? You know, it's sort of hard to see through the radio. We can't have the you torn into a thousand pieces and become food for the sharks. That's a scary thing to say in such a casual voice. Now back away from the bomb for a bit. Alright. I shall. Yeah, that should be enough. Here it goes! Okay. Nice. Now the world's clear. There's a faint light coming from inside. Go on this side. Whatever, there's a monster or something inside. That'd be amazing scientific discovery. Totally not concerned about my well being, but that's okay. Doesn't fucking matter. Yes, go to the new region, please. Sea people record chamber. Wow, this place is wow. This appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My luck was feel luck for you feeling was correct. There's definitely a sea people civilization in this region. Look at that mural back there. No human would have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe they're from some ancient civilization that sank from a seismic activity. Ah, a good point. But that the style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Please first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find a variety of interesting clues. Probably need to get some real some shit because I'm overweight. Oxygen in here. Painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently, the sea people could draw and not, not only write. Good, that should be enough. I'd like to research a little more, so please take a photo with the camera that I gave you. Take a picture of the new I shall do that. Before I do that, I need to get rid of some stuff. As much as I like barracuda meat, I'm probably better off not having it. On me. Yeah, it's like 40 kilograms up my weight. Can't, can't, can't. Camera icon indicates that you can take pictures. 
check your objective on the top left. So here, yeah, okay. Use space to adjust the focus and remove your hand. Take a picture. Make sure your timing matches the green in indicators. Okay. to me. Chamber filled with sea people symbols. There. What could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Come back up to the boat for now. Alright. Quick pass me around, asshole. Go up to the boat. Yeah, I need to be sure to not waste my resources because I want to get the fuck out of here. The cat chamber, thank you. Open Rinka often to see your progress on fish caught so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's actually an escape pod right here. That's, that's convenient. Thank you, fucking asshole. Oh shit. Yeah, I should probably. Not waste too much time here. Mind you, I'm at 40% oxygen, but I don't want to mess it up. I've died quite a few times because I was a bit reckless. Jose! How's it going, dude? Almost didn't see you in the chat there. How you doing, dude? Hmm, a sea people artifact. Hmm. Very interesting! Well, I'm glad you like it. I have a analyze this artifact in the mural for the, my life. Uh, I'll be in touch soon. Hmm. What's it gonna give me? Hmm. Hey, you there. I heard an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? Uh, about that. Uh, we are Sea Blue. We are an organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and report them. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those that commit particularly evil deeds. I've had reports of someone who has been engaging in, in mindless destruction of the environment in these parts. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Well, let's watch the early screens of the Rings of Power. Pray for me. Oh, God. Hello, hey, hey. Popping in for a like and a hello. Trying to finish up the work day, so I'll be looking a bit. Hope it is up. all is well, sir. All is well, my dude. All is well. Whoever arms the sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. <laughs> and me, John Watson. <laughs> now then, be ever grateful to the sea and never lose your love for it. <laughs> I'll be leaving for now. <laughs> We're watching you. Always works. What a creepy dude. Will we be okay? Say, Blue, that group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporations with big fishing businesses. And not the small fisheries that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the corporations, however. I expect they're taking the bribes or something unsavory like that. That guy looked like bad news. It won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. Well, you twat encouraged me to blow the fucking cave open. Just saying. Hmm. Well, it's the afternoon, so I might as well go diving again. So you want my number? I can pick you up from you. 
Um, we, we can talk about it for sure. Uh, but should be. F uh, I'll keep in touch, Jose. You got me on Twitter, right? You just you can just message me there. I'll just hop back in. I'll keep in touch, Jose. <laughs> keep in touch. Alright, let's do some more diving. Actually, the Trank Dart pistol is pretty OP. <laughs> if you hit the fish properly. Ow. I've been poisoned! Primarily here to get uh, collect fish for sushi. So yep. better overkill to using a harpoon on such a tiny fish. I got Dory. Plenty of fish in the sea, my friends. I still find it baffling that uh, they are uh, they that they are a delicatessen in uh, in Japan because they they overpopulating the seas over there, so they kind of have to get rid of them. I still find it a bit mind blowing, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, here then. Iron ore. Ooh. Yeah, give me that oxygen. Thank you. Holy shit, who's that big dude over here? Oh shit. Uh, he's a little pissed. He's a little pissed. I don't blame him. Oof, shit, I'm a terrible shot. Can you 
stop attacking me. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh well. So much for that then. I didn't technically run out of oxygen, but I digress. Uh, let's take the iron ore, might as well. Too greedy. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Banco. Can't play underwater games because I end up holding my breath. Subnautica was fun for the first 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, can't say I blame you. I changed the board skin. I got the Godzilla DLC, but I won't be able to play it until chapter 3, unfortunately. VIP right? Vincent the Gourmet. Hello viewers, this is Yui from TV show Star the Chef. Today we've come to Seaside Sushi Bar. That's all the rage on Cox on Coxter, Banco Sushi. This sushi bar that's famous for the exotic sushi, we have us with us the legendary sushi expert Vincent Yamaoka. <coughs> I am Vincent Yamaoka. Hello Vincent, how would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. It's only rice, vinegar, wasabi and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen, how good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged and how they were cut, how the rice was cooked and how it was molded. All those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes! I see. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Banco Sushi is famous for? The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Okay. Below that, the olive flounder and the amberjack with the white and red meats. All verified ingredients, you understand? Okay. To dare us today to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo era. Come on. Regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. Oh. Have you once, you have once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. Oh. We're curious to see what your opinion on Banco Sushi will be. Oh. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner of Banco. Um, this is a bit sudden. I'm called Ben. Oh. He's quite reticent. He can only mean, that can only mean he speaks through his cooking. Oh. This sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole. And the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. Oh. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to how the food will taste. Vincent, will food, which food will you be trying? Mm. I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's focused on appearances. Yeah. You there, Banco, was it? Your name. Yeah. Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see, bring me something to surprise me. Oh, oh Vincent offers a daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide. I, I can't just sit by and listen to you, predator, just thinking. <laughs> Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. Step between a traditional gourmet and an exotic chef. Things are getting real interesting. We'll come to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to Star the Chef! Uh, what are you thinking? What are you going to do? Amanda does not run from a challenge. I thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? I need some sea grapes and white spotted jellyfish. They can both be harvested in the limestone cave about 100 meters down in the depths. Okay. Hmm, we're going to make sushi with those? Okay, limestone cave, right? I'll go look for them. Okay. VIP. Sometimes a VIP, VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. That's okay. I got salt. Haha. <laughs> Staff, let's see. I have no new staff, that's okay. Research, nothing. Menu.
against that meal. else to invest. Start opening the restaurant. Let's go. Sushi, honey, I'm a whoopie pro. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This one, it's probably the best profit I made today in this game. Okay, the sea people are pissed. I took their artifacts. I'm not surprised. It never gave me a reward for the artifacts I got. Hmm, Dave. Yes, Mr. Dr. Bigger. Dave! Yes. Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Uh, the good news. You're the positive guy. I studied the bracelet you brought me yesterday. It was from the sea people, as I expected. Wow, so it's an ancient artifact? The bracelet seems to be imbued with a mysterious power. Here, you can wear this. What? Me? I mean, I'm grateful, but, but why? Who knows? There might be some frightening sea people close on. Mm. Well, in any case, try it on first. Hello again, Brendan. Sea people bracelet. A bracelet shaped sea people artifact has a mysterious energy that is breathing. Survive for a certain period of after running out of oxygen. Yes. Wow. 
I feel some kind of new power inside me. Glad to hear it, but nothing happened. Yeah, that happened. You will be able to check your diver box for more information about the charm you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I have more great news. Yeah, yeah. I've analyzed the artifacts in the investigation data, yeah, yeah. and I was able to find very strong signal in these ocean depths. Yeah, yeah. This was the right place. The uh, objects didn't just float over here. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling the giant blue hole uh, that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit for, to a sea people site. Yeah, yeah. A very lucky opportunity. Yeah. That just feels like I have to risk my life again. Yeah. So what's the bad news? Yeah, yeah. Mm, in order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Yeah. Deliveries have stopped right now for some reason, so getting one is out of the question. Mm. Mm, maybe Duff will have one. Yes, all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. Mm, you're right. Try contacting Duff first, will you? Bye. -bye. <laughs> we are the Dustborn. <laughs> oh, it's why. Don't you even dare bring that game up. Don't you even dare. Oxygen is probably a good idea at this point. I think I should make a call first. Ah! Why are you so angry? I ordered my limited edition Leas Chan figurine. But it hasn't come for over a week. Would you believe it? I got, I got, it's got a serial number in a limited edition only art book. Oh, calm down a bit. Everyone seems upset with the deliveries having stopped. I think there must have been some kind of accident. To see what's going on, I will need the deep sea head now. Oh, well, of course. I have one of those in my safe storage. But I can't give it to you for free. There's a condition. I think I know what's coming. Please find my Leia's chance figure. It's the pink delivery box, you'll know it when you see it. I requested special care for the package, so it should not have been washed away. Yeah. If the ship is carrying it if the ship carrying it sank, it's likely to be somewhere nearby. Find it for me and I'll give you the deep sea head. I have to find the location of the sunken treasure transport ship. Hmm, well, I'm getting there. Okay. Let's go diving, people. We got shit to do. <clears throat> Open my often to see a progress of fish caught so far.
Let's encounter the shark because he might cause problems with the otherwise. Diving a lot easier. escape pod nearby because I probably need it in a moment. Let's get the box out. Store some stuff in there. Ship. My precious Leah's John. Bring it to me quick. Finish your mission. Well, I don't think we'll be finishing that up. What was that just now? She disappeared into the unfathomable depths. Seems to have been some kind of giant life form. Please go and retrieve her. Wait, that's obvious. That obviously looks dangerous. Besides, the doors on the ship are all locked. I can't go inside. Do you really think I think think of that before concocting Leijan's rescue plan? I'll probably remind you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Even at this moment, Leia's Chan awaits her master. Come to the boat, will you? This guy's incredible. Holy fuck, there's a giant fucking shark here. Ah! Shit. Shit. 
It's way too close. That was way too close. Same to me. Kind of. With medium weight capacity already. Oh, that ain't good. Okay, let's go. Spirit oxygen. Can't have to have that. I'm starting to wonder where this freaking ingredient is there you want to be too. Oh yeah, I can't go down there. Dave's got a point, I can't go down there. I'm overburdened with too much shit with me. It's okay though. I carry a lot of shit with me. Sea grapes and a white spotted jellyfish. Hmm. Wonder where I can find those. Actually, let me check my inventory real quick because I feel like I'm having too much shit on me again. I 
move that way. Hmm. If I get rid of the Barracuda, I should be fine, actually. Is it the Triggerfish? Yourselves, if not, let me know. Gosh, dang it. That's okay. Right, the poor fishy, but that's okay. It's just part of what we do. Hmm. Long distance underwater school. Nice. So, we're trying to figure out where to find these sea grapes, though. Allegedly, you're supposed to find here. Said that's enough. Somehow. Oh, 
Poison Hub. to go so I can actually gather the materials for the first day. It's a good thing you always have two dives. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I'll see if I can nail it. Give me that. <laughs> Duff's pink to the bird. Yeah. Now then, let's begin with the chance risk. Give me that. Give me that. Yeah. Just received the pink delivery box. Yeah. I saw a huge tentacle taking the ship. Looks extremely dangerous. Do you mean to say that it's okay for the chance to expire the, in the darkness down there? This mission must not be delayed for a moment longer. <laughs> Alright, I get it. Oh well. Let's, let's try going down there. Honestly, I'd rather not, but that's just me. <laughs> Two fish tank. Perfect. Okay. Okay, no, there's nothing new here. Twenty research points. Poison resist bracelet. That's actually not a bad thing. to increase your social media rating if you get more followers you'll unlock more features at higher ratings mm, okay that was a good good start
That's always welcome. Don't mind that. I know a hostile fish. What else will I do? That's not a fight you want, trust me. There you go. No, 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 no. Charge the golf club. <laughs> okay, that, that's that's legit funny. Legend of Zelda charging a fucking blade. <laughs> Counter that one. Sounds like he's not fun at parties, that's for sure. 
Starfish. So weapons box. Enjoyed the game so far. Do let me do let me know. So I I really enjoy this game. I was a bit skeptical because it was one of those critical darling games again. But I can kind of understand why everybody loves this game. The gameplay loop is very addictive, <laughs> especially with all the resource gathering and stuff. You can kind of see why people like it. Or I should say they liked it. It's been out since last year. Big Eitri Valley. Not sure what's going on here. Well, basically, you're a diver who uh, is tasked with gathering fish um, to, for a restaurant by a good, a good friend of yours. Essentially, you're being like duped into it, kind of. Fuck that, I'm not gonna play Concord over this. Fuck that. I know I'm digging myself a, a grave with uh, constantly memeing on it and saying like if, if somebody gives me $666, I would fucking play it. Fuck no, I'm not gonna play Concord over this. I don't hate myself enough for that. My self-hatred is not strong enough. That's why I would never be a Sith. Triple Axel. Basically an underwater shotgun. Yeah, Dave is straining. He's suffering. He's carrying too much shit. I probably should get out of here in a moment. Got some new resources. Leg bone. I'm kind of tempted to go scuba diving myself, even though I'm not a good swimmer, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Looks like I turned out a good profit there. Some more fish. There you go. Off we go to this sushi restaurant to gather some money. Oh, we got a new applicant. Probably somebody who works at the restaurant, probably. Can't sh do shopping anymore. The package hasn't arrived. It's been a while. Recently picked up from a float remnants of a wrecked boat. There must have been some kind of accident, a sudden accident in, the, in this isolated blue hole. <laughs> I think I saw a huge squid a while ago. It's not because of that, is it? A giant squid? Just about anything can happen here. Always stay on your toes. Oh, that's got a point. Okay, let's see. We got new staff available. More applicants, at least. Let's see here. Cooking, serving, and procure. Oh. Okay, you know, that guy is very fucking expensive. I can't afford him just yet. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Alright, let's put some shit on the end, shall we? Oh, 
of these little f animations <laughs> sometimes. Only for the evening, but I'm too exhausted at such a late hour. I know things are busy during the day, but if the ingredients aren't ready, we'll only be able to sell no remarks. Be sure to get things ready. Alright, let's open the fucking sushi restaurant then. Open up! That's easy enough. Satisfied customers, that's not good. Whew. Might still have turned a profit, we'll see. Okay, we got 500 bucks to a name. Let's see what we got. Hmm. 
I'll go for that. Yeah, why not? The more I can go, the better. Right. Uh, mm. Duffy switch up. Yeah. Take that crate for sure. You want a lot of scooter and also the I well, can't take the mice, but there goes with that same. Okay, let's get through the delivery ship's door. Have a look see. Waiting for the auto collect pick, uh, power up that I will probably get eventually. I mean, it's a given at this point. There you go. Underwater rifle level 2. That's good. Probably fucking need that soon. in too much of a hurry to properly tell you how to use it, but you figured it out. <laughs> Go through in through the uh -huh. uh, Padona. Elias Chan, your master is coming. Since the dangerous creature. Not just yet, no. I wanna make sure I gather some resources beforehand. Oh shit. Forgot about the giant fucking shark here.
Whoa, I killed it? Damn. Okay. I certainly didn't expect to kill it. Tiger shark meat. Yeah, I need to get that freaking delivery box out. So I actually add some shit to that. So certainly, uh, shark meat might be too heavy for that. But I can not also add some other stuff to it. will return to the surface whenever I'm ready. So that's good. No, didn't need to do that. Okay. Me and my keyboard tisms at times. In fact, I need to get the fuck out of there as soon as I can. This better be worth it. This better be worth it. Space below seems larger than expected. Take a look around, Dave. <sighs> if you insist. He's insisting that I find his little plaything. For some reason. Tell me shit! Oh, extra oxygen, that's always good. One out of ten, how's the game? Um, I'd say it's a pretty solid eight so far. I really enjoy it. Most of the things I get frustrated with in games is mostly my retardation and uh, incapability of uh, doing things. But so far, I really enjoy it. I love the music, I love the atmosphere of the game. Granted, the pixel style is something to get used to, because it's uh, a very <laughs> unique style. But believe it or not, this is this game right here had a collaboration with uh, Nikkei, <laughs> Goddess of Victory. Wait, more importantly, look at that giant squid. So that's our culprit. I guess it knows a good knows it's a good thing when it when it sees it, even if it's just a squid. It seems to be asleep. Sneak up and bring it back quietly. I'm too far to go back empty-handed. Let's not try approaching quietly. Uh. Oh, fuck. Giant squid! Well, I guess I'm fucked now. Oh, it's awake. I need to get back. Don't tell me you're going to chicken out. Use the gun I gave you. The harpoon will be of no use. All right. Whoa! What the frick? All right. Freaking tentacle fuckers. Flying for your trip, you're going, you're going to Texas, right? Yes, yeah. Well, I'm just meeting some friends there and hanging out. 
So we've been playing that to meet some people in the last year at Anime Mazuri, but fortunately they had no uh, time. So I'm catching up with them right now. Okay, this bird is pissing me off right now. Alright, let's do this then. Fill up the oxygen. I want to get some good, good text and stuff as well. Getting acquainted with the area and also uh, going there for the career reasons as well. Just want to check out if I have some opportunities that I can make the most out of, medical wise. Because I know for a fact they will they will treat me better than Germany did. Because frankly, Germany doesn't give a flying fuck about nurses, sadly. Very unfortunate. But yeah, that is what it is. Just trying to enjoy my trip, you know? It's gonna be quite a long fucking flight that I'm gonna be on, but that's okay. Flying a total of 15 hours, uh, and also going to be um, on the train for another four. So technically, I'm traveling 19 hours on uh, Saturday, and lo looking forward to that. But it's worth it, considering I've seen some friends I haven't seen in a while. Guess that squid is defeated. Well. It's 13 to Houston, and then I have another stop further in. I'm looking forward to it, though. See, the fish people saw me. Wait, were those sea people just now? Huh, what do you mean? Well, I guess it's the pink delivery box. Bring it back quickly! So it won't do any good. I have to go up and tell Dr. Bacon. Yep, that we have to do. Mm. Mm, the box is pinned under the squid tent. Mm. I have to cut it anyway. I wonder if it's edible. Should I try breaking it to back? Yep. Might as well. Yeah. Yes, that's the one. Come back up with the boat. I'm so really Please, charm. Debating going to Austin, San Antonio in October to visit some friends and family. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be in San Antonio in October as well for the uh, a fellowship meetup. Yes, Leah's charm. Leah's charm. I think she hasn't been damaged. Oh, there's salt, there's salt water everywhere. <laughs> I'll clean you up. Here comes Leah's. Oops. Uh, I said Leah's chance lie by accident, though I'm the master. Mm. <coughs> In any case, I promise a surprise. Here you are. Do you see how that? It's a reason model that turns on automatically as necessary. I must go help Leah's chance recover. Goodbye, eternity. <laughs> yeah, three hours is a lot better. Cause that's over for now. Come to think of it, I did bring this. What will I do with this giant squid tentacle? Mm. It smells so awful. I'm not sure if I can, if I can use the cup. I'll have to give it to Banco for that. What is it, Dave? Uh, I was helping Duff and I defeated a giant squid. That's incredible. I could bring the whole thing, so I cut off, can't, couldn't bring the whole thing, so I cut off its off, off a bit of its tentacle. Is it edible, perhaps? Hmm, of course. The ammonium chloride that helps it flow gives an awful stench, however. And because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers anyway. 
Why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squid? It's been so busy since we opened that I haven't treated you to any proper food to discover your hard work. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Let me clean up a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Dr. Bacon will be there as well, so I can tell him about the fish people so. Nice. Look at that. Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. Wow, you finished all the cooking already? When did everyone arrive though? Party with customers. There's been a lot of progress. Very good. Yes, there. Restaurants should put their customers first. Food, drink, service. And customers are basic foundations at a res of a restaurant. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef and his cook. Um, I was also here from the beginning. Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. Do you remember what I told you back then about the reviews on cooks, though? You said there wasn't any real mention of me. But now people do mention you, albeit rarely. They say things like, he poured me hot green tea. He was working hard preparing the wasabi. He was friendly. He looked busy. Oh? The customers are recognizing your hard work. Oh, that's good. Customers are honest and intuitive, more so than you think. They know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. Mm. That's why I find this moment hard to believe. You think that obst obstinate banco is working with people holding parties. I think it's thanks to you, Dave. Mm. That makes me wonder what he was like in the past. Mm. I can't divulge details about someone else's mm. past, but maybe someday in the opportunity presents itself, so I might be able to tell you. Mm. Fair. Wow, <laughs> Dave, congratulations. What of Banco Sushi is now getting around? He looks to be in very, a very good mood. Look at his squid tentacle. It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. I'll bet more people will flock here if such things are offered on the menu. Are we eating this because it's difficult to serve it to customers, though? <laughs> You're right. What a pity. Everyone will want to try something that looks like it's like this, regardless of the flavor. Regardless of the flavor, you say? There's no way Banco could stomach that. Let's go with something else. Alright, about the dips. I have a feeling there must be things down there. Things that will make people jump out of their seats. If Dr. Baker's research is successful, this place will be famous and filled with paper. Mm, you're right. When that happens, we'll make tons of money! So let's keep at it, Dave. Let's get rich together. <laughs> mm. well, I guess he's got a point. Ah, uh, Dr. Bacon? Oh, Dave, what is it? I saw the sea people down below. You what? You really saw sea people not do gogongs? What do they look like? What do they dress like? Do they resemble humans? Mm. Well, their torsos look, look like their own, but the sight of me scared them into the deaths. I couldn't get a good look. That's too bad. Could have been an amazing find. That means we might encounter them in the depths. That's where the signals are strongest. Perhaps there's even a village. A village? Yes. They have, art they have artifacts, murals, a language, and they're beings with unique civilization. It would not be surprising at least for them to live together in a village of sorts. That would be quite the find, indeed. An ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us. Dave, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. Giant square tentacle. It's really an ingredient that is difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench which should allow me to research its essence. Still studying the ingredients? Good work today. Bring back the precious ingredients. This is a difficult sort to prepare, but that's part of the fun of cooking. So, how does it taste? Mm, the food's always been great, but today's even more spectacular. Since there was a lot of it, I made many different dishes, though we won't be able to offer these to customers. Now, these San Antonio meetup is in the middle of October, I think. Around SpaceCon. <coughs> Seems to be no end to the path of the chef. It's an unfortunate thing to have to, a path to pursue. <coughs> Same thing can be said uh, to, of the study of ingredients. Dave, please keep preserving, and one day you will succeed. <coughs> I'm not sure what you mean, but. Sure, I'll be able to bring back more fish. Phew, that's good, good stuff. 
Paco's food is so nice, I can't understand the growing popularity of the restaurant. But maybe it's because I caught the fish. In any case, there's been a lot of stuff going on. A giant squid, sea people. There's no end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. I suppose I'll go even deeper tomorrow. What about another find? Eh, whatever. I'll think about that tomorrow. Time to toast the everyone and rest. Some odd reason I can understand Smoo better than when he just did, when he just the Aussie accent. Run! How's it going, my dude? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> we're gonna do the Aussie accent. I think it would be there around 10, 23, 20. Yeah, I think that's around about the time. It's alright, mate. Finish gathering the beers. Good morning. Must have drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. You did seem a bit excited. <laughs> don't forget the gatherings like that every. I don't. You don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of occasion calls for joviality. <laughs> Can't throw up here, Doctor Bacon. Oof. I'm not the drinker I used to be. In any case, take the deep sea headlamp Duff, Duff gave you and try venturing down into the depths. It'll probably turn on automatically when you reach the right depth. And don't forget, you'll have to enhance your diving suit if you don't if you want to venture into the depths. Uh, have to enhance my equipment first. Then, by the way, do you happen to have scuba? <laughs> Great. That is disgusting. Fucking disgusting. Look at that puddle of puke over there. Fucking disgusting. Well, have, have a good night. Take care, weasel. Good to see you, my dude. Into the deep. Chapter 2. New ship, there are new posts. Should probably start hiring more staff, honestly. Bustler. Still doesn't get customers, just prepares the food. Over time, even the most unchanging of people will suffer. Perhaps it's the company you keep? Probably. More best taste points and more followers. That shouldn't be a big deal. I can do that. Actually, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, yeah.
Wait, my mic's been off all this fucking time? Damn. <laughs> been talking up a storm all this time and I haven't even... Yeah. Yeah, that's a given. Oh well. How's it going, man? Hi, Nomi. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. So I've probably been talking for half an hour. No audio. What do you mean, no audio? The audio should be on. The audio should be on though. It's weird. Unless, wait. Yeah, the music's very quiet in this game. The music's very, very quiet in this game. <laughs> Talking all this fucking time without audio? That's, that's messed up. Music's at full. Why in the f. Wait, I need to hear back my stream real quick. If that's true, then <laughs> that's pretty embarrassing. Hmm. Okay, my audio's back now. Weird. Uh, da da da. Okay. Never mind then. All right, so we're probably be talking for half an, odd, an hour without audio. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Oh well, happens, happens. Probably have to re-report that, but that's okay. The gameplay is what matters for the most part. Mm. Equal bracelet, yeah, take that. Okay. Well. Suddenly attacked by John Watson. Sea Blue is a group that utilizes strange methods to protect the sea. Weapons? <laughs> and particularly powerful weapons. Oh, what is that? Hmm. They're famous for using particularly aggressive methods, but using weapons in the sea is something I couldn't foresee. Oh. Hmm. I guess you might be pretty concerned hanging around this type of place. Oh. Something smells fishy. Oh. Anyway, be careful, especially with that John Watson guy around. That guy's dangerous. 
Hmm. Funny how nobody told me about the audio though. Before. Anyway, it's been almost two, well, a little more than two and a half hours. I'm probably gonna call it in a moment. This place even uh, place impressed even Vincent to, to remember. Yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> the audio would probably be there. It is okay. At least I uh, for gameplay to be honest with you. Let's have a look. Um but the ba dump. Well I'll go for another dive. Mm. Nah, maybe next time. Don't wanna overstay my welcome here too much. Let's save the game real quick. Okay. That's done. Go to the title screen. You do know me anyway um with that being said folks i uh will probably call it here because i've been streaming for quite a long time today three streams in a row actually <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna give my eyes a little bit of a rest thank you for hanging out with me today um we'll be back later tonight well tonight my time at least with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, with Paula Dukin, Insidious Bliss, Tombi, DJ Axis, and a few more people, probably. Gonna kick Shredder's ass in five player co op. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. It's gonna be good. Either way, I thank you guys very much for, for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>